Hey guys, this is Jeremy from First Southern Baptist Church in Liberal, Kansas, and I want to share with you a worship thought from God's Word today. Our worship thought's going to come out of 2 Kings chapter 17, um, but before I get into the scripture, I need to give you just a little bit of context so it'll make sense. In the books of First and 2 Kings, we read about the various kings who ruled over Israel and Judah, starting with Saul and David and just going on down the line. What we read in scripture is that some of these kings like David, they honored the Lord, they did what was right in God's eyes, and they led the nation in positive ways. But it also tells us that many of the kings did not honor the Lord their God. They did not honor the God of their ancestors. Instead, it says they did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they led the nation to do evil in the sight of the Lord. 2 Kings 17 drops us into the story where Israel had done so much evil in the sight of the Lord that he had allowed them to be conquered by the king of Assyria and his army, and they had transported Israel away from the promised land. However, the king of Assyria didn't want the land to stay empty. So in verse 24, it says, he brought people from Babylon and Cuthah and Avah, Hamath and Sepharevim, and placed them in the land of the Israelites to live there. Here's the problem. These new nations didn't honor God any better than the Israelites had been honoring God. And so God continued to allow destruction or in difficulty to come on these new nations and they didn't know how to fix it they didn't know what was going wrong however the king of Assyria had a plan he said here's the plan let's take one of the Israelite priests that we took away from there let's send him back and he'll teach these new nations how to honor and fear the Lord God of that land so that's what they did they sent a priest back the priest began to teach these new nations about the Lord God of Israel how to worship him how to honor him how to fear him and then verse 40 of chapter 17 of 2 Kings says this, However, these nations would not listen, but they continued observing their former practices. They feared the Lord, but they also feared their idols. Still today, their children and grandchildren continued doing as their fathers did. See, here are some nations that had been placed in the promised land of God's people. They had been taught how to worship the one true God. And yet, they just couldn't quite give up all the things they had brought from their past. They didn't want to give up the worship of former gods, the actions of former ways, to worship God solely and by only. Here's the thing, we may not be direct descendants of these nations, but we could be counted among their children and grandchildren, like, like it says, because I think we struggle to do the same thing. We know what God wants us to do. We've read in His Word what it looks like to honor Him with our lives, with our actions, with our words, and yet, we struggle sometimes to give up pursuing all the things that the world tells us we ought to pursue. We want to pursue what everyone else is pursuing, and at the same time, we want the blessing and love of our God. And so we just try to add God in to everything else we're doing. And just like these nations found out, that doesn't work. It doesn't work to say, God, on the one hand, everything else that looks good on the other hand, and I'm gonna to try to pursue both because the stuff of the world's gonna take us this way, and the pursuit of God is supposed to take us this way. And they're opposite directions. They don't work together. So what I would encourage is my worship thought from today as I read this passage and the challenge that I had for my own life was to say, what are the things of this world, of our past, of non-God things that I'm pursuing too strongly and it's taking me away from the pursuit of God? That's what these nations found themselves up against. They had been given a great land. They had been given an awesome God and taught how to worship Him but they didn't do it. They continued pursuing the things of the past. I would encourage us today, let's seek after God with our whole hearts and see where he leads us. That's all I got for today. We'll see you next time.